How's it going? Um, exciting day today. Uh, not at first. <laughs> By which I mean, if you're watching this in the archives, uh, you might want to skip ahead just a short time because I'm going to do what I tend to do, which is to click buttons for just a few minutes. I totally get why some people don't do the... Uh... Oh, whoops, CAPTCHA, hold on. Uh, I, I totally get why some people do the, uh, the thing where at the start of the stream uh, they just have like a blank screen or like a, not a blank, but like a screen that just says like, uh, just says like, uh, what is it? Like, you know, coming soon or like, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get started shortly just to hang tight or whatever. Uh, because it would be really helpful. Uh, I am a masochist, so I <laughs> don't, huh, that's weird, okay, um, this, uh, sorry, technical difficulties on, on this end, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm a masochist, I, <laughs> I just make myself <laughs> say stupid stuff, just in case someone showed up, because what if someone showed up right now, I'd want to be at least somewhat interactive, um, I mean, there's some nice, like, please wait screens out there, but none are, none of them are so nice that I would prefer to look at one of them rather than like actually <laughs> yeah, like get the streaming experience. Uh, maybe that's just me though. I don't know. All right, I'm almost done. I just uh, I just have several more buttons to click, and then a uh, fun fun thing today is that uh, uh, I'm starting with something a little different, or we're starting some with something a little different because I get to choose what we're starting with, <laughs> and I say it's a little different today. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, last. Uh, Last step is, uh, oh yeah, yeah, wait, hold on. Oh shoot, I, sorry, I closed a window that I wasn't, didn't intend to close, but, um, let's, uh, just, uh, uh, I mean, I guess I don't have to, but I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> um, doop doop uh, retweet, <laughs> just for fun, and then, wait, there's one more. Oh shoot, wait. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't prepare very well for that one. But don't, don't worry, it won't take it. It'll only take a second. Uh, do, do, do. So, yeah, the, so instead of starting directly with uh, the usual today, I think, um, I think, whoops, <laughs> I think I want to start with, uh, with um, uh, side quest. Side quest got added to the games database. So that was, I don't know, I just thought that was cool. And, uh, and, uh, so I'm going to actually play because that's like what that's been one of my goals, right? Is uh, I've been telling myself like, oh, I should actually play side quest more often. Like I should actually play it. Like I should be playing it in real life. Uh, and um, and it, I mean it's always running, right? It's like always online uh, when the stream is going. But um, the thing that uh, that I don't always do is like to to like act as GM. So uh, that's I guess what I. Uh, what I mean when I say I want to do something a little different today. Um, the thing about side quests, though, is that it involves players. And right now we don't have those yet. <clears throat> but hopefully we'll get some of those soon. Or we can just get to the... Excuse me. We can just do the usual stuff. Uh, so I might as well jump over to, uh, to screen cam. Because uh, it looks like it might be just some dev time now. <laughs> I'm streaming under side quest right now, but I guess uh well I could uh I could do what? Uh so I could uh um <laughs> Maybe I guess it's because I'm not streaming under game development today. Um usually people show up faster. I guess uh so maybe I'd, <laughs> I should just switch over to game development and do the usual thing. <laughs> Alright, well that was it. We officially <laughs> we officially streamed under side quest. So whoops, I opened the thing on my other computer and now it's making noise. Um What I muted you. Jerk. <laughs> um alright, yeah, that counts, I guess. We we've, we've now technically streamed under side quest. So how eventful. <laughs> How eventful. Oh, right, wait, yeah, so now I'm actually just going to switch back to game development, I suppose. Uh, did we all have fun? Did we all have tons of fun? Did we all have a riotous blast? And, 
<laughs> thrilling, uh, an unstoppable experience, unparalleled by any other, um, <laughs> unforgettable, uh, truly. Uh, all right, let's, uh, all right, so let's, let's make a game instead. <laughs> I think um I think I was thinking I would do the standard bear today, uh, because I feel like I should. I still want to figure these other things out, but they just don't make an they just don't make enough sense right now. This one, like the water, the flickering water, like I don't know how I'm gonna figure that one out. I don't even know how to go about like figuring that one out because like, well. Yeah, no, the only things I can really think of are, like, super spammy. Like, intolerably spammy. And it happens so infrequently, at least as far as I can tell. Like, I've only seen it happen... Well, I have seen it happen twice, so maybe it actually happens more more frequently than I think. Um, I should, uh... Huh. I guess it would kind of help if I had a, um... If I had control over the course of events, like, in the game. Like, I could queue up a specific event... I mean, I could just, uh, I could just, <laughs> no, you know what I could do? Uh, whatever, I'm just gonna do it anyways. I'm just gonna say go to, uh, river, uh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, and then, so, whatever, this event is happening here now for no particular reason. And then, oh yeah, because if I go to a river during an event, then, oh no, it'll, it'll still do weird things, but I'm, I'm just gonna say wander, uh, village now because uh it'll still it'll still like do weird things uh like it'll teleport and stuff but between now and the next event at least it'll uh we'll have another opportunity to see it so because I, I guess i, I want to get a sense of like how frequently this is happening like is it is it like a weird fluke that comes up from time to time or is it like is it just something that happens like for just one frame and is therefore very difficult to notice uh but hopefully this will give us some uh more opportunities to 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 get that information which <laughs> would be so valuable in uh in eventually fixing the uh the situation so all right with that in place i will now uh open up uh paint.net i suppose and we can start uh drawing some flags uh wonderful flags wonderful flags uh uh <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, I just got a, a message from uh, from someone saying that the the chat won't load, which is unfortunate because that is a very integral part of playing SideQuest. <laughs> but um, uh, I think by I think uh, oh yeah yeah technically uh, just by being in chat you would have a character in the game, but without chat your name tag would never appear. Uh, so it'd be hard to tell that you have a character in the game, <laughs> but it still counts, right? It still counts. Uh, <laughs> so let's, uh, let's do, uh, oh yeah, I'm just going to participate in this event so that it doesn't, uh, stay forever. Um, so yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll make a plan. Uh, no, I'll distract the guards. Yeah, why not? Uh, <laughs> whoops, I should spell it correctly. <laughs> It'll work better if I spell it correctly. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's look at our character art. Or, like, the uh, the file that we use for our character art. Uh, and, uh... And... And start, like, specking out, like, what could what our next character could look like. So, <laughs> here's the current state of our character art. Uh, at the maximum level, which is right now level 52, I believe. Uh, so, just for the purpose of, uh of, like, concepting, which, I don't know, I was just really using, uh, terms that imply, that they're, like, terms that a, a real artist might use, <laughs> like a talented artist, um, oh, yeah, one thing I was thinking is that this might be the time to bring in the, uh, I mean, like, a long time ago, I made a helmet, and I just never used it, because I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to escalate the, uh, like the 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 heaviness of the armor too fast. I wanted it to like be more of a gradual ramp up. Uh, 
But as a result, I've just had this helmet kicking around forever. Oh, I changed the art since it changed this helmet, so it's probably not going to transfer exactly. But, like, I don't know. It's, uh, it could be... I could, uh... Yeah, I think it, it must have, like, gone something like that. <laughs> and then, uh... I might go some. I might go something like this for the, uh, for the next look. Uh, like you're very heavy, heavily armored. Maybe or not like very heavily armored, but like wearing like plate mail. Maybe. I don't know. I guess it's not like too soon in the uh, progression of like character, uh, of the characters to to go that way. So yeah, I don't know. Let's 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 say that, that that could be what happens and and go from there and see what we come up with. Um the uh the uh wait what oh whoops I'm not color picking from the correct layer yet. Alright, because I'm just gonna this is just to rough it in. I might I might go back if I if I do like the whole look, I might go back and use the same helmet to uh like for the final thing, but like right now I'm just I'm basically just whoops. I'm basically just trying to, uh, uh, do, 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 uh, get, like, get a sense of what this outfit could look like, uh, all together. Uh, I, so yeah, I've been calling it the standard bearer because, uh, I think that's going to be a part of the outfit. There's, like, a big, uh, flag, basically. So, like, uh, so I think, like, uh, it'd be, like, wooden in texture, which I think is usually, like, a slightly yellower version of, like, this type of tone, so... Um, so, yeah, right, so, I'm thinking standard bearer as, like, roughly as such, and so, uh, I guess, like, I don't have a strong preference as to, like, what, the, what, 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 what we've, uh, what, like, what exactly the, oh, hey, I leveled up, did I? Am I level 12? Trusty Bird tweeted at me. He hadn't tweeted at me in a long time, <laughs> so it's nice that, it's nice to get that. Hey, trusty bar. <laughs> thanks for <laughs> thanks for looking out. Oh yeah, okay. So we're also transitioning uh, to the uh, to the village now, as we can see in the background. So uh, I don't think we're we're gonna we're gonna teleport at some point, uh, and that's just because of I'm I'm like cheating the background to look like we're in the village when we're like secretly still in the mountains or something like that. <laughs> but um, uh. Yeah, it's like right around this phase of the transition that last time we saw that little hiccup. So I'm, I'm uh, so I'll, I'll keep working on the uh, the standard bearer, but uh, and like in the corner of my eye, I want to be like cognizant of like when we hit that hit that line because uh, that'll be uh, I'll just be very interested to see if it works or if it or if it if it like if it happens again or if it um, if it was just a fluke before, or, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I really don't know what to, okay, oh, I probably missed the frame, shoot, I, like, glanced away to, like, color pick, and, all right, well, whatever, I, um, maybe I should just go back and look in the archives instead, like, go back to, like, every situ every situation where we've ever been in the river, and, uh, and watch through the, uh, animation, <laughs> <laughs> to see whether on that frame if it act if it rendered correctly or if it uh if it rendered like the uh the weird other uh frame of the yeah because it's like it just renders the uh the villagers from like the next environment for some reason um i feel like is this something that i'd seen before like a long time ago i can't, i might just be imagining it but i feel like maybe that even happened like maybe there was like well i mean like we, ne we never had a this is the so it was with the introduction of the village that we got our second um we got our second uh like a, a environment of type uh environment type one um previously we'd only had the river uh and so i'm trying to think of like did i was there like a was a situation like in the past where like Without maybe not seeing like the of course like we didn't have the the villagers layer to to like flitter in but um, was there like a situation in the past where we where we just saw like the river disappear for a frame I feel like that might have happened I don't know sort of thing that's hard to notice and it's easy to like wonder like did I really see that or was that just my imagination 
Um, so I don't really have to draw these flags very, <laughs> in a very detailed manner, but for some reason I kind of am. Because um, yeah, so so standard barrier. So this is like the uh, this is like when, so when I say standard barrier, this is like the but mostly what I'm thinking about that. And then so yeah, so the so then the rest of the outfit is basically just like uh, like slightly militaristic and uh, a bit adorned and. Uh, Hey Marty, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, so, yeah, what does this militaristic outfit look like? I I want to do like a a uh, shoulder piece. I think. I think uh, I don't know. That looks very stately, or like I don't know. It looks very it looks very impressive. It's like I like having shoulder piece. <laughs> that looks cool. <laughs> Uh, yep, sorry. <laughs> That's my rationale. Um, I'm, and I'll, of course I'll, I'll want to tidy this up at some point, but, um, I guess, like, so, like, if red is, like, the color, um, I guess we'd want to go with it. And I'm not, I'm not sure if red is necessarily the color, but, like, I don't know. We have at least some indication that red might be the color. Uh, as, 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 yeah, it's the color that I'm going with so far, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we end up with. Uh, so... Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, yeah, I don't know, like, I, I like the shoulder piece, so I was, like, quick to add that in. The other thing is, though, I don't necessarily want this to be, like, especially ornate armor, like, it, it's he it's gonna be heavy armor, so I don't have to go, like, over the top with it immediately. Like, I could go, it could be heavy, but, like, not, um, not especially elaborate, like, heavy, but also fairly straightforward like fairly relatively simple um the arms i'm not sure what i uh what i'd want to do because i was picturing like for the for the chest piece like there would be a, like that so it's drawing in the red because it would be like visible on the edges but actually for the uh for the chest piece i was thinking of uh i was like going like silvered uh uh you know like a like a metal a metal chest piece uh and uh and then leg guards, uh, maybe like, maybe not like full leg guards or anything, but like maybe like one of those like metal, uh, flappy things, right? Like, uh, like, yeah. So like, I don't know what the, what the legs would be exactly, but like, um, maybe like, a, uh, we could go, I mean, we did white pants with the archer. So like, I don't know, but we tend to go with like a darker, uh, pant color. Well, no, I guess we did, we didn't, we don't always go dark. We, we did, uh, we did, uh, the, like, the, the light, like, yellowish, orangish, uh, tone for the, uh, so, uh, yeah, the arm guards are, whoops, the arm guards are not going to be, uh, uh, leather wrapped like they, like they were before. Um, boots? Maybe we'll go with, like, maybe we'll go with high boots or something. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll bring like the boots like all the way up, uh, and then give them. I was gonna say a buckle, but we get, we kind of gave these boots a buckle, so it won't be the same type of buckle. And yeah, so it'll some I, some sort of feature to the boots. I don't know. Boots are militaristic to me, like high boots are like militaristic to me. Uh, <laughs> so then, yeah, the hands. What is, what are the hands here? Um, I've been thinking, like, uh, it's been a while since we actually did gloves. Although, like, I don't know if I necessarily want to do, like, gauntlets. Um, because, like, yeah, this is, like, our, the first time that our character actually gets, like, heavy armor, so I, like, I don't want him to be, like, literally, like, ironclad head to toe, so, uh, maybe just, like, bracers of some sort. Uh, also, he's... <laughs> Clone Sam tool, no. He's not actually using the uh, the scythe and the. Oh, I'm gonna teleport us to. Oh, actually, I don't know where I'd teleport us to. We're gonna teleport in a <laughs> in a short while. So uh, that might be a little bit jarring when it happens. Just a just a heads up. Uh, I was I was dev cheating earlier, so. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I kind of like how this is shaping up so far. Um, I don't know about the pants color. I don't know about the sleeve color. 
I tend to do bare sleeve, so maybe I don't want to necessarily do that again. But then again, it has been a little while since I did it, so <laughs> it's not like I'm doing it two back to back to back. No, I kind of like this character as a little more covered up. Although then again, yeah, like literally, we've had we've had three characters. This will be the third character in a row that's very covered up. Um, that's not that's I mean that's fine. There's not like a specific problem with that. So, uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, so maybe I'll do like black sleeves or something. Uh, and uh, and then yeah. So what if that came like all the way down? Oops. Uh, so long black sleeves, and then uh, the hands should be. I mean, I could kind of like try and mix and match like chain with a. Uh, with the plate, but I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. So maybe just, uh, oh wait, what if, uh, this is probably going to look weird. I just want to see what it looks like. What if it was long black gloves and bare upper sleeves, like upper arms? That's probably going to look weird. I, I assume this is going to look weird, but I also want to just try it. Just so, just to say I said, I just, say, just to say I did. Uh, Uh, it's hard to see because I did a poor job of rendering the uh, the arm. It's hard to make out exactly what's happening here. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's probably just weird. I don't <laughs> I don't think that's a good direction. <laughs> yeah. So um, so I could just go barehanded, I guess. No, 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 no. White, white, white gloves. Right. Yeah, white gloves. Perfect. Uh, yeah, and then I needed like shading tone for this color. Uh, and these won't be the exact colors either. These I'll, I'll pick like different colors because this this uh this white is not like white white. It's like a dingy white that we were using for the farmer shirt. But uh, we'll want like a slightly less dingy color for the uh for the look there. Uh, yeah. So uh uh cool. Uh, am I streaming under game development? I think I meant to be doing that and I yeah all right sure <laughs> just checking <laughs> uh all right um that elbow is really pointy that was a very pointy elbow uh <laughs> but yeah I think this looks pretty okay um so white oh yeah yeah uh uh so this sleeve is darker and yeah uh this boot got a little bit big. It's not supposed to actually look that thick. <laughs> um, the sleeves, uh, hmm. I kind of don't like the sleeves as being a different color from like the shirt. Um, is there a color that would work good for both of those things? Or is this like one of those situations where I should just pick a better color? I mean like, uh, I should, I should like find some other compromise. Uh, um, because this feels like, like, I'm putting in red here, but this, I'm assuming this is gonna, probably going to be, like, too much red. Like, I'm probably, because, like, the flag is a lot of red. So, like, I don't have to go literally the same color, like, for the, uh, for the, for the shirt and the, yeah, that definitely wasn't an improvement. He's look, he looks a little Santa Claus now, too. <laughs> so, I could just, like, not go red. Um, or I could change the uh change the shirt or just go with like the different colored sleeve uh um so the chest piece probably won't come quite so low it'll probably like stop at the mid uh section because i mean i'm not going to render it do a good job rendering this here but i guess the belt like there's should be like a separate belt piece or something i don't know because like the, the 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 thighs like the the plate that covers the thigh i don't know uh i was just thinking it'd make more sense if uh if that was like actually connected something and not just like hanging from the hip uh <laughs> that's like a small detail it doesn't really matter um i um let's let's look at the internet i haven't looked at any like reference or anything so uh 
I keep calling this character a standard bearer, uh, but I have no clue what a standard bearer actually looks like. Uh, so, all right. Um, oh, maybe that's better. Maybe instead of having the shoulder piece, maybe I should have the upper arm piece because that might uh, help break up the. Um, maybe that might help break up the. Uh, the sleeve, like I was saying, like uh, make stop, like prevent the. Uh, the I can, I'm yeah. Hold on, let's try that real quick. Um, so yeah, what if instead of. Uh, and it might, it might, I don't know. I might, I might actually want to keep that shoulder piece or something, because uh, uh, I, I liked how it looked, and uh, it, it might be that without it, it looks a little unimpressive. Um, I'm just gonna color, just blotch this uh, this darker tone, so I don't have to keep inventing it every time I want to redraw with it. Um, <laughs> so yeah. So what if there? What if the shirt was red? I might have to change the white gloves. The, the white gloves can turn into like black gloves or something, maybe. Um, because, yeah, and then so what if there was a, uh, there was like an arm guard. Uh, uh, instead of like a big shoulder piece. Uh, how would that look? Uh, that's kind of all right, I think. Uh, I'll probably want to choose. I, I might just want to use a different color than red, because if I use a color other than red, I can. I don't have to change the gloves, because I kind of like the gloves to be white, because I kind of wanted to imply this character. Well, this character is a standard bearer. It's not supposed to necessarily look like a soldier per se. Um, I probably changed the helmet a little bit too. Like, I drew this a long time ago. It was just like a very generic looking helmet piece, so I could. Um, make it pointier. <laughs> um, or I could just like reshape it slightly. Maybe just like a light pointiness to it. Although was the brigand, I think I might have made the brigand helm a little bit pointy, so I don't want to go too pointy. Not every helm in this game is supposed to be like super pointy. Um, something like this is probably going to be okay. Yeah, so what, if, what would it look like if instead of a red flag, what if it was like a, a blue flag? We haven't done much blue. Oh, we did. We put blue on the, uh, on the, uh, the cook or whatever that character was. Uh, uh, what, so what about like a purple? I don't think we've, I don't think we've introduced like barely any purple actually into this game. What's the spell can tool hockey? I don't know. Whoa, not that. <laughs> uh, do do Oops. <laughs> a little too too much spillage uh and of course the background will be a different color oh yeah the background will be a different color so let's uh oh wait, actually ah yeah i don't have to but i have been making the backgrounds like a this rotating like color wheel so like uh if i go to look at like the other um levels that i've done it went uh so level 44 was like a Oh, okay, so it would be yellowish. The background would be yellowish because we came from red. Because there was red, and before that there was like pinkish, pinkish, reddish, yellowish, or pinkish, reddish, orangish. So the background would be yellowish, which actually complements yellow or uh, complements purple quite well. So uh, that seems fine. Uh, let's uh, select all, and then uh, what color is this? Uh, a tone of or a hue of thirty-four. So let's crank it up to like not that far. Uh, let's crank it to like 50 something ish, 55 ish, 56, 57, 60 ish, maybe, I guess. Where did that put us? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I forgot I was cheating. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, so that, that, was, the, that was the part where it teleported. <laughs> Sorry, I knew that was gonna happen. Um, alright, uh, I think I'm gonna click it back a little, a, a little. Oops, uh, click it back uh, away from 60 because it's it's getting a little greenish uh, in that direction. Uh, I don't want it to like get super green yet. Um, so maybe even a little further back. Uh, I do want this to look different though, it's not, so it's not like the exact same color, or you know. Yeah, that should be fine, I suppose. All right, and then. Uh, 
and then uh, do do do. So let's uh, oops, wrong way. Uh, let's go back. Oops, <laughs> I am a mess right now. Uh, let's go back to this layer and just to see what it looks like. Uh, do do do. Yeah, this looks alright, I think. Uh, and then, so instead of uh, instead of uh, this red, we have this color. Instead of the other red tone, we would have like this color. That looks pretty alright, I guess. I'll probably change the purple a little bit because right now it's a little. I don't know. I don't know if it's not saturated enough or if it's too saturated. It's a, I don't know what it is. It's like in the middle of some of two things. I think like it. Yeah, I think I need to pull it in like one direction or the other, because like as it is right now, it's a little bit. I don't know what exactly. I might make it. Yeah, a little a little more vibrant maybe. Uh, we'll see. Uh, do 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 do. do. That made it look bluer, interestingly. Whereas I was trying to make it look a little bit purplish. I mean, I have to be, I have to be a little bit careful because if I push it too purplish, it'll, it'll hit the chroma key color and turn invisible. Um, I don't think we have to worry about that yet, though. And I can test that actually too. Uh, I can test that by enabling chroma key on the main monitor. So if I go to, the monitor and properties. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, <laughs> no, um, so Templar Warden, uh, you're in the, um, well, I guess you, you don't really have a tent with you, so, uh, you're, you're building it, you're, like, legit building it, uh, out of, like, sticks and leaves and stuff, <laughs> yeah, if you had a tent, wouldn't that be nice, but, no, uh, unfortunately not. Alright, so, yeah, if I go, alright, so now I'm applying the, uh, chroma key color to the, uh, to the main monitor, so you can see, like, part of the color wheel just, like, vanished. Um, <laughs> whoa, why is it fluctuating? Huh. Well, I don't know why it's fluctuating, but, like, yeah, that, so this part, part of the color wheel is just kind of, like, gone. Oh, it's because, oh, it's because I highlight it, and then I, I, okay, <laughs> no, it is literally changing color on screen. I was like, why is it, why is it changing like that? It's because when I mouse over it, it gets more, uh, it gets brighter. Um, all right, yeah, so we're not hitting the color, chroma key color. Although, like, if I, um, if I, I pushed it a little bit further, I think we probably would, right? Eventually, if I pushed it, like, too close to this range, yeah, it just disappears entirely. Just like, instead of getting more purple, it just like, zoom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> On my screen, it's just getting more purple, but uh, on the on OBS, you can see it gets uh, yeah. All right, so this should be good. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I don't know for some reason with this purple color, I want to introduce like another tone. Like I want to introduce like a I don't even know what. Like for some reason, I thought it looked fine, or maybe it's the sleeve thing again. Maybe the maybe the whole. Uh, Maybe the whole, uh, you know, not, like, I basically deleted one element of the, uh, of the composition by, by merging the sleeve with the, the tunic, uh, and so maybe I just need that one element back. I need to, like, bring back that one extra thing. Um, I didn't do anything with the boots, although I said I was going to, so I could do something there. Like, I could put, like, uh, put, like, uh, Maybe like a knee thing, uh, like a shiny knee thing. Uh, uh, oops, <laughs> you're not quite that shiny, but like, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, also I didn't put shine on the metal, although I do intend to. Uh, maybe, and maybe, actually, maybe putting, just putting shine on the metal is enough. Uh, it's not going to look like that either. I mean, it's going to, I'm going to look, I'm going to do a better job of it than that, but <laughs> it's like, you know, where, it, where, it'll, where it'll go, roughly. Uh, and actually, let's hide the bonus for a second. Uh, yeah, so like, 
Uh, hey, that's the new follower noise. Uh, what happened to the original Lumpex? Uh, <laughs> Lumpex Coffee. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for following. I uh, <laughs> I swear I used to know a uh, another one once upon a time, uh, but I guess copies are welcome too. So hey, uh, we are we're adding new character art to the game. We're adding in the standard bearer, the fabled standard bearer that we spoke of for so long. The prophecy, the prophecies, prophecies foretold. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you just get a new password now? Like, why do you have to wait to get a new password? Um, can't you just use the, uh, can't you just use, like, the, uh, the please give me a new password sign up sheet and then they give you a new password? That's how it works for me, at least. Uh, <laughs> Attack of the Clones. Um, all right, yeah, I, this this should be fun. I sometimes get that like that feeling like, ooh, there needs to be like a little bit extra. There needs to be like a little bit extra, and then sometimes I add a little bit extra. Like with the farmer, I added in the the knapsack and uh, and like with the uh, with the cook, I added in. Was it the shoulder pads? Did I like not plan on? No, I always planned on having shoulder pads. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll think of it. At some point. Um, oh. Yeah, wait, hold on. What if, uh, what if the boots were, like, uh, if the boots had, like, a, a thing around them? So, like, that. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna, uh, pff, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna say, whoa! Did you guys see that? Did you guys see the environment doing this thing again? Was it just me, or was it, like, even worse that time? Was it just the same thing as it usually does? Alright, well, I mean... Oh, it happened at a different time, too! What the heck? What the heck? It didn't even happen at the same point in the transition. Just, like, at a random point in the transition. It was just like, oh, we're gonna be weird for a frame. What on earth? What on earth? <laughs> That just weirds me out. That's just like, yikes! Did you know that um, if you go into if you go into Gmail, and you go into settings, uh, and then you go into accounts, there's a button like that says just check mail right now, uh, and if you click the button check mail right now, it'll it'll get your mail right now. Um, yeah, good to know. It's in the so you you click the little gear icon. I'd show you, except I don't want to show you my email inbox. Um, you click the little uh, gears icon, and then uh, you go down to settings, and then one of the settings tabs is accounts, and it's accounts and something. It's accounts and, but I forget what, but it's the accounts one. And then you go down, and it'll list all of your accounts, and whichever one you want to check right now, you just hit check right now, and it'll check it right now. Uh, fun fact. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so, actually, I don't know. I didn't just, like, necessarily all of the... Uh, of that, whatever. So maybe maybe there will be like uh, a band across the boot or something. I don't know. It's it's tough. Uh, it's a tough balance between like adding in a little additional visual interest and making the whole thing like too cluttery and too noisy. So uh, we'll we'll see how it lands. Uh, but I think I'm ready to actually like start. <laughs> and there's a happy Chihuahua friend. Uh, I think I'm ready to <laughs> to start working on the the real piece. So. Uh, Let's uh, let's just move this aside. And wait, is that the end of the image? Yeah, I don't. I can. I don't need to. I don't, I don't need to like have memorized what the uh, the end of that flag looks like. I'll uh. So, and so so kind of like the scarf on the brigand. Uh, the the end of the flag will like will actually animate. It'll like actually like flap a little bit. Uh. All right, so I'm just gonna put this over here. Uh, I think I'll hide the chihuahua just for conflict reasons. Or actually, could I put it on the other side? Maybe I can put it over here instead. And then I don't have to hide the chihuahua. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, I can... Uh, I don't have to be looking at this the whole time, so I can just get rid of that. Uh, yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, 
and let's uh oh man that's <laughs> that environment transition is gonna it's gonna i don't know i don't know what it's gonna do <laughs> hey yakima how's it going welcome uh i uh i'm i'm compelled to like go look at that code again because like now i know it doesn't have to do with a specific frame i do know more stuff now i know it doesn't have to do with a specific frame and well i basically just know that but <laughs> hold on wait a second sometimes if i uh if i go to uh like the video oh sorry i'm just gonna switch into face cam for one second because sometimes if i go to the uh if I go to my video archives, I can actually watch the current stream, like, live, <laughs> as it's, like, uploading. <laughs> so, uh, yes, the, uh, the purple flag bearer is the, the fabled standard bearer, uh, which I have spoke of on occasion. Um, and, yeah, so now, so now, uh, originally we were gonna do the, uh, we were gonna, oops, let's talk um, uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um all right so <laughs> um let's uh let's do what uh oh yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm watching the uh <laughs> this is early this is from like half an hour ago look <laughs> we're looking into the past just moments into the past uh yeah i was just curious okay yeah so the uh it does show us in the village uh in the on the bottom of the screen here so it's, if I scroll back a little bit, it should show us the uh, the most recent occurrence of this uh, of this weird, weird bug. Oh wait, is this was this before the uh, the teleport? Oh, maybe it's maybe. Oh, this might have been. Oh yeah, yeah, no, this is too long ago. It's not like up to speed yet because it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't show it immediately, so I think this is actually too far back in time. Yeah, because the background's still orange, so... Alright, well... Yeah, first, it does, yeah. Like, this is literally the stream that we are, like, broadcasting right now, but, um, it hasn't caught up in time yet. Alright, anyways. Um... <laughs> um... Let's, uh... Let's do what? Uh... Sorry, my screen is a little dusty. <laughs> Just uh, clearing that up. And then, uh, yeah, so we can actually start fabricating. The oh, yeah, yeah, no, I start planning out the upgrades as I tend to. Um, so, yeah, so now we know, like, what what are the pieces, and now let's figure out how to deliver them. Uh, so, projects, uh, journey, um, uh, <laughs> So let's, uh, let's do what then? Do I cringe when I hear my own voice? I don't like hearing my own voice, but I hear it a lot these days because I, I try and like, you know, I try and check out my own stream from time to time to see how it's going. Like, cause it's hard to, it's hard for me to tell from this perspective how it's going all the time. So it helps to watch it back. So I've got, I guess I've gotten used to it, but. I, if I if I could change my voice, if, then yes, I definitely would change my voice. Uh, <laughs> um, let's say, uh, uh, where am I going? Oh yeah, uh, equipment uh, order. Oh yeah, so I can get rid of future order, and then make a new one. Uh, uh, actually, I don't like that name. I don't like naming it like just dash copy because that. Uh, is not helpful when I come back and, and see that file again uh, sometime. All right, so here's the here's the current order. Uh, it goes it goes up to Chup, uh, and then yeah. So what do we? How do we want to make this transition happen? How do we want to get from like what we are to what we will become? Like what? So the sickle is not going anywhere anytime soon. The sickle will probably be one of the last things to change. Which is kind of funny, because for a while, our, our, our character will be very, uh, warlike, warrior-like. Because, uh, like, the character will be getting, like, this this armor, and then, uh, and then, uh, huh. 
I hadn't really thought about that. But I guess, yeah, you're kind of like a marauder for a little while. <laughs> you're like this... Yeah, you're like this super armored character wielding a sickle. Um, you know, just one of those. <laughs> um... <laughs> I guess that's fine. <laughs> I really hadn't thought about that, though. Um, alright, well, uh... <laughs> Let's, uh... <laughs> sure, whatever. So let's start, let's start swapping stuff out. Um, the first thing might be, like, the shirt. Although, when we do the shirt... I'll, so when I say the shirt, uh, I, I was kind of thinking, actually, like, the, the shirt and the sleeve and the... And, and probably the arm, the shoulder piece as well. Um... And the gloves? No, we don't have to do the gloves immediately. We can we can hold on to the gloves. So I guess yeah. So I guess hypothetically the first thing that would change is uh the shirt and the and the uh wrist wraps. Cause the wrist wraps were the first thing to change previously. So they've been around for the longest, so I like them and like yeah, I, I do like them, but I uh, I think it's time for them to... It's time to say farewell to them uh, by this point. Uh, and, and the shoulder piece is pretty cool, so that'd be a reasonable exchange, I feel like. Uh, I don't have to do it that way. I could, like, do the boots first or something. Well, the boots are kind of cool. And you don't get the buckle until, like, late, so replacing the boots is not urgent. So, yeah, so let's say... Uh, so this is going to be a two-parter. It's going to be uh, the uh, it's going to be uh, the purple uh, uh, purple uh, purple uh, shirt, and also the uh, purple. Actually, uh, actually, I'll call it. Yeah, I'll call it. Um, oh, 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 oh. I'll have to be careful about how I do this because. The forearm actually draws over the upper arm, and but like if if I have this shoulder piece coming down particularly low, um, it I wouldn't want the forearm to draw over it. So yeah, I'll just have to be careful. And yeah, also so the purple shirt is actually not the most descriptive thing uh, because this is actually like a uh, I'll call this like shoulder armor. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> uh, shoulder armor and uh, and. Uh, purple sleeve, I guess, uh, <laughs> purple, purple sleeve spelled correctly, oh, sorry, I'm editing a file that is probably covered up by my head, right, you probably can't even see what I'm typing right now, I'm, it's, I'm just typing the, uh, the same thing that I'm, uh, narrating, but, uh, all right, so purple sleeve, um, so this will be the hands, uh, they'll keep the sickle, they'll probably lose the hand wraps, uh, like, completely, like, you won't even, you, you won't even see it around the, uh, the, 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 what is this? The it's not the palm. It's like the back of the palm. It's like whatever this part of the hand is called. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so yeah. Once we swap that out, you'll, we'll still be wearing the vest. We'll still have the backpack and everything, but we'll just be wearing a purple shirt underneath instead of a uh, instead of a uh, white shirt. And then, uh, and then what next? Um, the helmet might come next, because I think that's... Oh, last time we did the... Oh, yeah, last time was weird. Uh, so last time we did, actually... We did the leg wraps. Yeah, we did the... Oh, no, no, yeah, no, we... Right, 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 because we did the head in two stages. We did the head wrap, and then we did the farmer hat. So it actually went, like, arms, head, legs, head, uh, <laughs> chest, um, and then sickle, and then backpack. Um... So I guess this time we can go... Hey! That's the new follower noise. Uh, uh, Groovy Jesus! Hey, welcome back! I, uh, I, I feel like I've seen you around before. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> um, alright, let's, uh... Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not using the... I'm still not using the live panel, which I wanted to. One of my goals today was to do that, so I should actually be doing that. Sorry, I'm gonna... Be intermittently reminding myself to do that because 
uh, I want to be doing that. <laughs> I do, I swear. <laughs> um, uh, hey, creative, welcome. How's it going? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you forgot your old email? Oh, yeah, just, oh, your name is spelled differently now, isn't it? All right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, sorry to hear about that. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm laughing only because I don't know. I'm a jerk, I guess. I'm always laughing. I, I, I no. I, I'm, I'm. That does. I that that actually really stinks. So losing like an account, I, I'd be, I'd be furious if that ever happened. Um. Uh. All right. So. Uh. Yeah. So last time. Uh. Last we left. Uh. Like, this adventure, like, we were, uh, there was, like, a, there's like, something going on in the woods, or no, yeah, so there's, like, goblins, uh, and stuff, <laughs> and, like, they, uh, they were, like, starting some stuff. Actually, technically, we invaded the goblins. <laughs> we didn't, like, invade, but we, like, kind of started stuff with the goblins. But, uh, so, uh... Let's, uh, so yeah, so, oh, but yeah, so the, uh, so yeah, the goblins were like, I don't know, they, they seemed like they were just mostly just having fun. Uh, we were on our way to a smith, as I recall. Um, so let's go to, uh, uh, well, so that's the thing, Yakimos, is that, like, Trusty Bard only tweets when I tell him to. And I just haven't been telling him to. So, like, he can tweet as much or as little as I tell him to. Um, all right, all right, uh, so I'm going to um, just go to the forest. Uh, because uh, that was, like, kind of, like, where we left off last time. Um, what a... Uh, so, yeah, the... Uh, uh, so the goblins are, uh, 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 so, yeah, so, like, I don't know, like, uh, some of the, uh, 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 wild, uh, wilder, uh, goblins uh, have, uh, uh, given, uh, chase, uh, you, uh, um, you, uh, uh, so, uh, you, um, uh, th so, that, like, if you, uh, if you, uh, if you stand and, uh, and, uh, uh, if you, uh, stand and, uh, look, uh, uh, menacing, uh, they might, uh, back off, uh, 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 but you, uh, could, uh, probably... Uh, out, uh, run them. Otherwise, uh, uh, character count. Ah! <laughs> <All right. laughs> it cut it off. Uh, I, I literally uh, couldn't fit the word otherwise. So, there, perfect. Uh, uh, so, create event. Uh, blammo! Hey, the script didn't crash. I really expected the script to crash. <laughs> Let's see if it got tweeted. Um, I just hadn't used this, I just hadn't, uh, I hadn't done this. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, that was part of the reason I really wanted to, <laughs> to like, use the, uh, use the, uh, the live, like, run the, uh, the live version of the game, is that, um, I was pretty sure it was going to crash. And it got to the point where, like, I, I was starting to make decisions where, like, no, I can't do that. I can't do that because the script is going to crash as soon as I use it. So it might still crash. Maybe at the end of the event it will crash instead of at the beginning of the event. But, um, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> well, uh, you're somewhat in luck, Creative, because I did try and make all of the text on screen uh, at least visible enough to uh, to to uh, to display on a on a tablet. <laughs> I, um, I, uh, I'm also working on art stuff mostly today, so hopefully that'll at least show up. Okay. 
uh, uh, yes, uh, yeah, you can also do that, Yakimus, if you, like, if, for example, if you ever, if you are, if you're ever not on the stream for whatever reason, like, if you're, you know, like, let's say you're in the middle of something and you can't be, you can't be on Twitch right now, um, you can also, you can also play on, uh, on Twitter as well. That is legit. It's only the, uh, it's only the live events, though. It doesn't do the, uh, it doesn't do the, uh, uh, the, uh, the automated ones, like the pre-scripted events, they don't get posted to Twitter. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, so, uh, I guess, uh, um, yeah, so, so while we're figuring that out, um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's do what? Let's say, um, oh, I don't actually have the stay command, do I? I guess I kind of do. Oh, no, I don't, there's no state command anymore, because it's all decided by, uh, yeah, no, this is fine. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, this actually kind of works. Yeah, so there, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> if I talk about, like, things abstractly that have nothing necessarily to do with what's on screen, it's because I'm thinking, like, this is the other, so there, yeah, there are the two main major reasons that I wanted to use the secret panel. I thought it was going to crash, but it's, it doesn't seem to be crashing. But we only found that out now that I've I've tested it out, which is good. But uh, we did still have to test that out, um, and uh, it'll be clear like what works and what doesn't the more I use it. Because like in theory, like maybe everything's fine, but then like when I actually go to use it, like that's when I get like the more meaningful, interesting uh, data about like what what works well, what doesn't, what should change, and all that stuff. Uh, so uh, I don't like Facebook. So I'm never going to do that. Uh, also, it just doesn't work the same way. Because, uh, like, the the thing about uh, the thing about SideQuest is that you, you should be playing it in real time. And Facebook doesn't show things in real time. They show things in, like, some bizarro order that doesn't make any sense. Um, so, no, I'm never going to do Facebook. And also, stop using Facebook. Use Twitter instead. And, no, I'm just kidding. But, like, no, seriously. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> so purple sleeve, uh, after this, so yeah, so, so after this, it would, so it would be basically the same adventure, uh, except with the, with the, um, with the, with the arm piece and with the purple shirt. I mean, I don't have to give the purple shirt immediately. I could just give the arm piece up front. Although just tacking the arm piece onto this look would get a little bit busy. So I would want to replace the arm wraps with it. Um, so yeah, I think probably giving the shirt is probably the way to go. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, okay, and then, uh, so then I could do, I could do the boots next. I could, that'd be fine. Oh no, I said I didn't necessarily want to. Uh, the helm. So yeah, so I was thinking the helm probably instead then, probably. Uh, so yeah, so then it would be this character with the shirt and the helm. I think that would look okay. Sorry, I just want to actually see, like, what that kind of would look like. Um, just in case it would look too weird. Uh, so it'd basically just be, uh, let's get a bigger brush. Uh, it'd be, like, do-do-do. I'm just, like, trying to think of, like, how these two things, like, fit together. So yeah, so the difference would basically be, like, that... The, the the tone of the vest and the tone of the shirt do not go well together. <laughs> so I might ditch the vest at the same time. Mm, I don't know if I like that either, though. Uh, so yeah, so... Uh, this is probably fine. I probably don't have to actually, like, go into such detail. Um... I might cheat the vest. I might, like, when I make... When I change the tone of the shirt, I might, like, just change the vest, because, like, I really don't like how those two colors work together. Uh, how they sit next to each other. And, uh, like I said, I do want to kind of change the purple anyway, so I don't know, maybe I can do that. Some combination of those things. Or just get rid of the vest altogether. What would it look like if I just got rid of the vest altogether? That might be fine, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't, like, need, need, need to keep the, uh, the vest. That, uh, I think that, that probably looks fine, too. All right, so yeah, all right, I have options. Uh, and then, uh... <laughs> um, 
So, uh, let's, uh, let's, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, let's, let's just get, let's just get started with this. Uh, so yeah, I'll do, I'll do the helm next and then like if, if it looks too weird, I can always change my mind, but <laughs> I was like, why was my hotkey not working? It's because I was over on this uh, text document hitting the K key. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, helmet, and it won't be the exact same art, but it'll be pretty similar to the uh, the helmet that we drew like a long time ago. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, okay, so uh, helmet, uh, and that just replaces the whole headgear situation. Uh, and then, uh, and then we could do the uh, we could do the the legs next. Um, or we could do the, uh, we could do the, uh, the chess piece actually first. Uh, yeah. Chess piece. Yeah. Um. chess piece. Sorry, I'm just, <laughs> I know I just keep saying that. I'm just, like, trying to picture, like, what, what these pieces that we've, like, spec'd out as, like, being a part of this outfit, like, which ones, um, like, are, like, most modular, which ones fit together the best? Because, actually, instead of doing the chess piece, we could actually do the, oh, no, I was gonna say we could do the leg, uh, like, the, uh, the, whatever those, uh, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> the event hasn't ended yet because I'm, uh, rusty as, uh, as the, uh, oh, hey, look, it crashed. <laughs> uh, whoops. Oops, uh, crash. <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Shoot. Um, I'm laughing because I knew it, because I, like, predicted it, not because, uh, what? Oh, freaking, this little you. The stupid little you. What I don't. What does it mean? It's like. It's like. It's reading the data in the wrong format for some reason. When did that start happening? Why did that just like come out of nowhere? It didn't used to do that. So that's not what I was expecting because. Uh, <laughs> rusty bar. <vibe. laughs> that is not at all what I was expecting because I didn't change anything that had to do with this that I can think of. I. Oh, that's dumb. That's just dumb. Where? <sighs> Alright, so it was trying to process the outcome, but... So where would it have gotten this U from? Uh, it was, it was using it, it was using it as a, uh... Oh, action... Names. It was the name. Okay, the, the name is technically a new field, but... It, it's a new field that works just like the old field used to, kind of. I mean, like, it used to be, uh, uh, alright, I can, we can, we'll, I'll, when I restart the script, I'll put it into away mode, so that way you can get some free experience. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so the action names are new. Um, because, uh, oh, wait, 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 no, you know what it is? It's not that there's a it's not that it's a different data format. It's just that, um, there isn't even a, uh, there aren't even the, uh, the action names. Uh, right. No, that's what it was. Uh, yeah. So it's weird that it's in a different f text format, but I'm not going to worry about that because presumably it actually still work the same um yeah no what so uh oh yeah how does this work actually uh <laughs> sorry i'm just like uh so i put in the action names because sometimes i use proper nouns as the uh all right no this, this is simple enough uh so action names uh so i just have to go to the two instances yeah right so it works fine for uh, for the prescriptive events, but it doesn't work for the uh, 
the manually uh, uh, the events uh, uh, created manually either by the GM or by the guest GM. So I just need to go to the two places where uh, GMs and guest GMs create events and and fix that up. All right, so uh, so let's go to places that reference init events because that is what we do in both of uh, those cases. Uh, so right, so here is the here is me creating an event through my secret control panel. Um, so all I have to do is when we set up the action uh, action tags or whatever. Uh, where are they? Yeah, so li.lower equals uh, i, and then uh, uh, so new ev uh, uh, dot action, what is it called? Action names, uh, index uh, li.lower. Uh, oh, I keep doing li.lower. So, uh, so I'm just going to call it like li low. Uh, equals li dot uh, lower because I keep doing it like a million other times and so I might as well just do it once up front. Um, so yeah, so uh, so li uh, low uh, equals uh, li, uh, and so what we do with the action names is just to keep track of the the capitalization, just so that like we can use the lower uh, the lower case so that the game systems all work correctly, uh, and then we can just switch to the uppercase. Uh, uh, whoa. Why was I using uppercase for the facts? That doesn't seem right. I think I was supposed to be using a lowercase. I think I was just forgetting to lowercase it. Yikes. Uh, Alright, well, fixing bugs. Fixing bugs. Uh, Alright, so that should be fine now. And then... Uh, Let's, so now let's hit the other case. Uh, so uh, init event. What? Where is this? Oh, the. Oh, this is where we init the event. Right. Okay. Uh, so, right. We can skip over that. Uh, <laughs> Um, okay, so then uh, here is the other. No, this is the this is also an event. Wait, if this is an event, what was the other thing? Oh okay, yeah, these were cases where, right, we were initting other things, which, yeah, okay. Uh, so where's the actual init event? Uh, what? No, oh, this is it. Yeah, this because right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah no, okay. Because uh, <laughs> this is when the GM, uh, the guest GM, initiates an event, and so we'll do the same thing here. We'll say uh, uh, li low uh, equals uh, li dot lower, so we don't have to get the lower version a million times. Um, and so where we were referencing uh, li dot lower, we can replace it with. Uh, why do I keep using action facts? I guess it must have just been a typo that I kept, uh... Oh! No, I'm an idiot! I'm using the same LI loop within the other LI loop, so this is, like, probably super broken. For LI and FI? That's not good. This should be, uh... This should be something different altogether. <laughs> Yikes! Um, what is, what is fragments? Fragments is, whoa, all right, sorry, it's been a little while since I set this up. All right, so fragments is like the chunks of the phrase that could associate items or facts with, uh, with action tags. And so... If li in fi, so what we're actually asking here is if, oh, no, no, that's totally legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I thought we were looping up, yeah, sorry. I... <laughs> so, uh, so if li in fi, but yeah, we do still want to, we just want to use fi, or li.low. 
for this. Just because... Just for consistency. Just for the sake of consistency. Uh, I don't know how the system worked before. I guess, no, it worked because we didn't have capital letters. Uh, and if we had introduced capital letters, it wouldn't have worked. But now it will work. And uh, Oh, but I didn't actually add in the, the new ev.names thing. Uh, new ev dot uh, action names uh, index li low uh, equals li. All right, so this should work now. Uh, I'll restart the script uh, and actually, I guess there's to test another event in case there's other things that are wrong. <laughs> um, so, uh, oh, let's go to the forest, uh, uh, forest, because that's where we were before, and, uh, alright, so, what, um, oh yeah, so we escape, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, um, so, we, like, uh, yeah, what happened last time is that some people chose to run and some people chose to to stand and look ferocious. Um, unfortunately, uh, I think the goblins uh, took didn't weren't weren't as as uh, <laughs> fooled by the uh, ferocious uh, front, given the fact that half of the adventuring party was like fleeing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that so I guess. Well, yeah, so it's it's not such a big deal that the event crashed, considering <laughs> it would, the event wasn't really going well anyways. It, hey, Defense Red, how's it going? Um, so, I guess, uh, yeah, usually there's a little more space between these, but it crashed, so hold on, let's think. Uh, let's say, uh, what, is, what would it be? Like, uh, like we could say... Uh, <laughs> Uh, so the, uh, the, the goblins, uh, uh, charge on undaunted, uh, uh, what, um, uh, oh, yeah, um, uh, well, so, oh, yeah, all right, so just, um, I know you guys, like, every now and again will complain that I don't actually use the secret, uh, uh, panel, but you guys, uh, I can now complain right back at you, because you guys aren't giving me any voice data either. Like, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, like, all right, well, those other things didn't work, like, what other things? But, like, I don't know what other things you guys would do in this situation. Like, you guys literally have to tell me what you would do in this situation for me, in order for me to, like, think, like, what you would do in this situation. And now you have the power to do that. I mean, you've always had the power to do it, but now it's, like, literally within the game systems for you to do that. So, like, you guys have to start doing that, too, um, frankly. Um, or you don't. I mean, you don't have to, but if you don't, then, like, don't complain that I don't use the system either. Because, like, if, if none of us are using the system, none of us are using the system, so. Um, uh, yeah, alright, so for now, I'm just actually going to kick it into a way mode. I'll let you guys, I'll, I'll let you guys think about that, and you guys can come up with something. Uh, here, so here's your free experience. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> oh, hey, protospasm! Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna work in the middle of the event, but, uh, I, I don't know if you've, if you've seen the, the, yeah, protospasm, you probably don't, you, you probably don't know what I mean by the voices, but, uh, it, uh, it's probably a feature that, that could be relevant to you, because, like, for example, if you instead, uh, if instead you'd said, for example, uh, oh yeah, right, so right now we're, because we're in the middle of an event, we're seeing, uh, on this monitor here, it shows us the event data, uh, like, what's actually happening in the event, but, like, if, for example, in the chat, I said, like, um, uh, uh, I, uh, I, um, uh, teach the, uh, kittens, uh, how to climb down trees, uh, education is important, uh, right, so that's not going to do anything right now, like, all we see is shake and climb, because uh, we're in the middle of an event, uh, but I used an action tag that is not part of this event, uh, because that's how I roll. I don't, uh, 
So I'm not, I'm not participating in this event. Like, that doesn't register for this event, right? Like, all that registers for this event is the... <laughs> you guys just cannot make up your minds today, huh? <laughs> um, excuse me. Um, the, uh... <laughs> the, uh... Yeah, so what we'll see is, is, is at the end of this event, um, it's going to switch, presumably, unless it crashes, it, it's going to switch back from, uh, from showing, showing the event data to showing this new voice data that I've put together. So, uh, uh, <laughs> um, is this event running long or am I still, or am I just, uh, is it just because I'm waiting for it to end that it seems like it's taking longer than usual? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, but, uh, yeah, when that happens, we'll also see, I can also finish my sentence. Uh, <laughs> all right. So let's, uh, Oh, does it, does it just finish? Okay. Good. Uh, so yes, now at the end of the event, it is going to presumably switch back to voice data. And so this is basically just the exact same thing that we were just looking at, except it keeps track of like the events that aren't happening, right? So like now, um, it's not like, uh, right, because like the whole idea of um, side quest is like that it could play like a, a, a tabletop role playing game, right? And well, it's, okay, so I'm, we're in away mode, so the events are happening really fast. So it's going back to the... Uh, the event stuff, and I'm just going to put it off the screen. But yeah, so like the the whole idea about that is like now, um, now it's uh, yeah right. So, so I mean, we don't actually need that feature right now. So it's a little silly that like I'm now uh, insisting that uh, <laughs> that like it get used or like it's not like I'm it's not like there's anything that's like for us right now in this uh, in this channel like there's nothing that's now become possible that everything that has been possible previously is, is still possible because we're con we're communicating at a pace that we can read what the other people are saying hypothetically though if i was like trying to gm and there were like thousands of people in this channel and the chat was like going there's like no way i'd be able to read like literally everyone's input but so with the voices like that's the other thing like um you'll see like you know in this event it doesn't say like it doesn't say it doesn't have two individual listings for swing two people s decided to swing and so as a result um <laughs> oh now you guys are all on the same page <laughs> now you guys uh now you guys all <laughs> all good <laughs> the same way but um so um no yeah, yeah so with the voices like hypothetically like uh you could still get like a sense of what the group was saying uh without having to like even even in situations where you can't like read literally every line of chat so yeah, yeah. uh so that's kind of cool um i uh i uh what was uh what was stuff oh there's a lot of pink on the screen isn't there because i didn't hide the graphics uh okay but that's better probably hopefully all right, and then, uh, so yeah, you guys, uh, <laughs> like I said, uh, your, your act did not fool the goblins whatsoever, so you either got some goblins to deal with, or, uh, <laughs> I don't know, what are you gonna do? Uh, uh, all right. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, we were, figure we, were we were still plotting out this uh, this transition. So yeah, so after this leaves the helmet. Uh, oh, this is supposed to be uh, uh, up carrot. Um, and then, uh, so I'm just making the text a little bit bigger. Uh, and uh, <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> let's. Uh, Let's do what then? Yeah, so the helmet, yeah. And then I was thinking, like, possibly the chest piece. I don't know if I'd necessarily want to go with the chest piece, but I think of all the, uh, uh, of all the pieces that could come next, I think it would make, it would, I think it would be the best possible. Hey, Asado! Oh my gosh! Uh, wait, is it still, oh my gosh, the voice system really just does not like Asado for whatever reason. That is the weirdest thing. I have no clue why that's working, or the why that's happening. Like, oh, what's it? Ch <laughs> Choop is uh, is this little guy right here? <laughs> Choop is uh, Choop is <laughs> Choop is my nickname for Chalupa. 
<laughs> and so I put Chalupa in the game. <laughs> so this is uh, this is Choop. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can you can see Choop, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so now at level fifty-two, uh, you get Chalupa on your team. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, all right. For whatever reason, we noticed this yesterday. Um, so Asado, could you like use uh, could you like use more um, like you said cower for example and uh, like could you like could you like use more uh, uh, <laughs> could you use more um, like pound signs like could you like make up more action tags because like I don't know why for some reason the voice system just totally ignores Asado and like for other people it works fine for other people it just works super great but. Uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what, oh, oh, one thing, um, one thing is that it doesn't work if you just use a, an action tag, uh, <laughs> Chief is a, uh, oh, yeah, okay, so, right, so, Asado, uh, Asado says, I'm so afraid, and that's not gonna register here, it's just not even going to, and why not, why not? Uh, oh, yeah. Actually, there was something I, wanted, I was going to change about the, uh, it's neither here nor there, but there, there was something I was going to change about the, uh, about the voice system. But, like, yeah, look at this. Asado is using a ton of them. None of them are coming through. What? <laughs> it's literally just Asado, too. Like, every other person who's tried to use the system, that I've, at least that I've noticed, has, it's worked perfectly. It's literally as if I put in, like, a line of code that said, if, like, player equals Asado... Like, then just don't. Wait a second, you're in the game, right? Because that was the other thing I was thinking. Yeah, you're you're right there, Asado 999. Because the other thing I was thinking was that, like, the, the, like, the other reason, the other situation in which it couldn't, uh, it couldn't pick up your voice data is if you weren't actually in the game. And so, like, when, uh, yeah, one thing I was thinking was, like, maybe yesterday when we saw this happening, you, like, left immediately after... You yeah, but no, that's definitely not the case because you're still here and it's not doing anything. Um, so yeah, let's, I, I did put in a bunch of prints to uh, to try and get to the bottom of the situation. So let's actually look at some of this stuff. So we're taking a brief break to uh, to inspect uh, what on earth is happening here. Uh, all right, we can zoom out again a little bit. Uh, so yeah, so Asado, for example, said uh, said like. Uh, I'm so afraid. And it did pick up afraid. So wait, what does it do? It did pick up afraid. It picked up afraid correctly. But wait, what does it usually do when someone does something like this? So, so, uh, so for example, I said, or it's like, uh, or so Yakima said, uh, said teach, for example. So Yakima said teach and it picked up teach. All right. So Huh. Uh, so yeah, so uh, so it knew like it it knew I had said teach, and then Yakima said teach, and uh, it picked that up, and so then the data updates so that both Yakima and I had both said teach. Asado says afraid, and it clearly recognizes that Asado said afraid, but then on the very next line it just says. It only knows about Yakimus uh, uh, and my teach. What on literal earth? Like, it's there's there must like I I should probably just like look through the code for the statement like if name equals Asado like because like it feels like that's literally happening right now. It feels like um you uh you you must get points uh for participating in events because you're higher than level zero, right? Um, I, and I can double check that for you. Uh, did you participate in any events today, or, uh, 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 I get, like, what, so, I guess as soon as you participate in an event, I can verify that, the, that at least that's working, um, and it, I, I, I don't have any, I, heck, for all I know, but maybe, maybe, maybe it hasn't been picking you up, like, at all, but that's, that's the weird thing, is that, like, it wouldn't have printed out this, uh, it wouldn't have printed out these, these, so, like, right, so we can go look at, where these lines get printed out. And the reason it's printing out afraid is because I, I was like, 
I was like trying to check like, oh, is it just not registering the action tag correctly? Like before I realized it was literally just a Asada that this was happening to. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe it's like, maybe it's like some, some way this is formatted. So like, like for example, it was right at the end of a sentence. So maybe like it doesn't work at the end of the sentence, but no, it's reading the action tag just fine. Um, and then, and then somehow after that, it's dropping the ball. Uh, Uh, all right, so let's go to where this happens. This happens in uh, uh, so yeah, this happens in a few places. Uh, so vocal's the new thing, and vocal. I actually don't necessarily. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'm actually gonna change what vocal does. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, hold on. How am I going to change what vocal does? Uh, let's, uh, yeah, actually, I don't need vocal anymore. Let me get rid of vocal. Uh, sort of. I'm going to get rid of most of it. Uh, sorry, this was a, vocal is a, a value that I added in, uh, which, for what purpose? Uh, wait, hold on. Where am I setting vocal? I thought I was setting vocal. Wait, what? Where am I? <laughs> oh, vocal equals false. Yeah, okay, I was setting it way up here. All right, uh, right, 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 and then, so yeah, so we were, I was setting it up there, and then I was also, uh, I also had this, uh, else case, yeah, 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 this is the, uh, right, this is the part, okay, so I was setting vocal equals true, um, yeah, no, no, instead, I just want to set, um, uh, verbosity, or like, uh, yeah, so actually, instead of vocal, I want to have a, a value, uh, um, uh, brevity, I guess, brevity, uh, equals, uh, zero, yeah, yeah, okay, so brevity equals zero, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, I, yeah, emotes, um, <laughs> all right, brevity, uh, Brevity, yeah. So brevity is gonna be is gonna replace vocal. Not that that has anything to do with what we were talking about earlier, but vocal. Um, what vocal did, uh, I was I was basically I was trying to, like, I didn't want to encourage people to just like spam action tags. So for example, like the correct usage of an action tag or like in, for the voice system is to use a full sentence. Like for example, like what Asado was saying, like I'm so tag afraid, um, or like you know tag wallowing in a puddle is fun like that's like the correct usage um and so previously i was just filtering out the ones that didn't have any text like if you just if, if it had just been like afraid or if it just had been wallowing then like it would have gotten filtered out and not picked up at all that's not what was causing the problem because that because the thing that was happening with asado predated like even adding in like the vocal whatever value but no so now instead i'm gonna i'm gonna keep track of brevity which is going to be a little bit different brevity is basically going to be like how how few words you're using and it's basically just going to scale down the, the the value of your uh statement based on uh uh based on brevity uh right so instead uh so instead of this weird conditional thing that we have set up here we're going to say uh Yeah, okay, so brevity equals, uh, uh, brevity, uh, equals, uh, actually, no, I guess I don't, I don't, I don't have to think, I don't have to save this in terms of brevity, I can just save this in terms of, like, uh, timestamp. So, yeah, so I'll just, I'll just say, like, uh, yeah, no, I'll just call it, like, voice TS, uh, uh, Oh yeah, and then it should so voice TS will be like frame time, I guess, for starters, and then uh, and then uh, yeah, so we'll just sit here. Um, where was it? Yeah, 
So uh, voice uh, uh, TS equals uh, or voice TS minus equals minus equals uh... wait, hold on. I can't think of it backwards. <laughs> um, so whoops. Uh, what am I actually trying to do here? Uh, so action character count is what we just counted. So we're counting the length of like all the action tags. And then we're we're adding uh, four times the number of action tags. Uh, and actually, I'm going to put this up to 10. Uh, 10 uh, times the, the number of action tags. And this is supposed to be like the expected length. So we're going to do the expected length minus the actual length. So so this uh, so this these terms minus the length minus the actual length and this is how this is this was originally what I was conceiving as like the brevity value and so I guess yeah and I guess we actually just like subtract the brevity value from the timestamp and that'll like put it a distance into the past which will put it as a lower lower value so uh, so I guess yeah so it will be minus equals uh, so voice ts minus equals uh, uh, this and so for each point of brevity, like how how many seconds ago should that be? I guess like uh, for each point of brevity, we'll put it like thirty seconds into the past, so it'll be thirty uh, times uh, the brevity. Uh, and there's no colon at the end of that statement. Uh, so right, and so yeah, so now uh, so now instead of just using frame time here, we'll just use uh, oops. oops. <laughs> I just pasted like billions of lines of code here by accident, or not not even code, just billions of lines of like spam, uh, into, <laughs> into here, which was not intended. All right, so yeah, so we just use uh, we just use frame uh, frame time instead of voice TS. Yes. Uh, all right, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Ah, uh, so right, this is the part where we print out the uh, the player's like voice whatever. So this is the part that what on earth is not working about wait key no uh, I was gonna say should I do like to lower like do I have to make this lowercase but no it's coming in through IRC so it's automatically all 100% lower so um huh uh weird all right. <laughs> um. <laughs> what the heck? So. We're literally printing Asado's voice data. We're literally printing Asado's voice data, and it's saying that Asado's voice data had, like, afraid or whatever in it. Like, it had the... Come on. <laughs> like for example uh so right so my voice data still has teach in it um so if i if i if i added voice data um like uh uh i uh, could go for a bowl for uh, a uh bowl of soup uh, oops, I'm putting this in the secret panel when I do not mean to put it in the secret panel. I mean to put this in uh, chat. Uh, I could go for a bowl of soup. So now um, so now we're not going to see the voice data update, but uh, we do see that it registers bowl of soup, and then it prints out my... Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. This part only gets printed during the event. Yeah, because that's the other thing I was noticing is that this line of text was not was not also here. So maybe I should have it here. Or wait, hold on. Why don't I have this here? Wait, what if what conditional statement is this? Uh. Yeah. So wait, what what was I printing actually? If I, if what was causing what's causing a oh it happens earlier. So there's another print statement. 
Oh, I know what Prince Statement it is. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's the Prince Statement that happens after. Oh yeah. So actually, the, the the that first that first thing that we were seeing that was printing out wasn't the thing that it's pointed at. It was actually this one. It was the it we were printing out the act source. So I guess I would be interested to see. Uh. <laughs> Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> what was the question? Why? Uh, what's multi? Why is this event multi? The event's multi because uh, because you could try and play both sides if you wanted to. Uh. Yeah. Um. Just because something is, just because you can do something doesn't mean you're supposed to do something, so. <laughs> um, so, uh, um, yeah, so protospasm, the, the point of the voice system, that's a very good question. The point of the voice system is literally, like, okay, so think of, like, yeah, think of, like, Dungeons and Dragons, or, like, you know, whatever tabletop role-playing game. The GM, like, is telling you the story... And you don't just sit there, like, rolling dice. You don't just sit there, like, with duct tape over your mouth rolling dice. Like, you say things, right? You say things. You have a voice, and you use your voice. Um, and so, uh, you, you more so than anyone have actually, like, used your voice in this game, which is I, why I'm always so impressed with your participation. And, uh, and other people have actually even started doing it, too. I think you set a good example for them. Um, but then, uh... Yeah, so the point of... But then what occurred to me is, like, wait, what if this game was played on a massive scale? Like, I keep saying this game could be played on a massive scale. But what if I actually... What if we actually did that? Like, then what would happen? And, uh... Um... So... It would get noisy and hectic, and it would be hard to connect with the players. Like, it would be hard for the GM to, like... in Like, to really, like... It'd be hard for the players to feel agency over the game because, like, how are they actually getting heard? Like, how, like, how are they speaking to the GM when, when, like, chat is just flying by like a million miles per second? And, um, but like, you, you, we've all seen how Twitch chat gets and like when there are like, like tens of thousands of people all in the same chat room. So, uh, yeah. So voice is just the is is the way to uh, continue that that to keep that line of communication open. Um, like even even when everything's just like whipping past at a million miles an hour um and right so we don't actually need that system but uh but that's what it's for you know uh <laughs> uh <laughs> country music all right <laughs> i was watching a I was, I was watching Justified all weekend, so maybe maybe I could even uh, do a uh, a southern lilt. Uh, no, I can't, but <laughs> hypothetically I could if I was good at like accents or whatever. Um, all right, so yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> creative, thank you very much. <laughs> um, creative, <laughs> creative donates uh, five dollars and says, "I have nothing to say." So, oh, make up something that sounds good. Law. Um, creative says, uh, uh, something that sounds good. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna making stuff up on my feet. Um, no, creative says. Oh my gosh, something truly... Oh, excuse me. It's so beautiful. What The message, the donation message is so beautiful. I'm getting choked up. I can't even... I can't even repeat it. It was, it was really lovely, you guys. It was such a, it was such a good message. Ah. <laughs> Yakimus! Uh, Yakimus did... <laughs> Thank you, Yakimus. Thank you very much for your generosity. Um, Yakum has donated ten dollars and says, um, "Here you go, Vinri. Uh, keep up the uh, good work, <laughs> for Narnia. <laughs> for Narnia. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for your generosity. <laughs> Thank you very much for your support. Oh man, I um, <laughs> I'm touched. 
<laughs> for your kind words, for your kind and poetic words, and uh, and just for for your for your support. I really appreciate it. So thank you guys very much. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh man, I had like a headache when I started the day today. I'm I'm gonna have like <laughs> a really amazing headache by the end of the day. <laughs> But like a good, a, a good kind of, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> um, so, um, I, <laughs> breathing, <sighs> breathing, not hyperventilating though. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, the, um, okay, so the, I changed, the, I changed, like, some of the data that we're getting, uh, for the, through the voice system, so when, if I were to restart the script, we'd actually get, like, more information, and also, I changed the way the vocal system works, so, like, uh, or the, the way the voice system works, and how, like, that, that data gets processed, so I'll want to restart the script at some point, but, like, um, no, for now, I guess, um, I don't know, man, I, like, <laughs> I, um, I, 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 it's just really, I really need to find that line of code that says, like, if Asado, then, like, nope, um, because, uh, <laughs> um, excuse me, um, I really need to find that line of code, because, like, it's, it makes zero sense to me. Oh yeah, all right. So yeah, Sato. Um, we can see that like it works. Uh, it works fine for. Uh, it works fine for. Uh, for events like. <laughs> Protosasm. Uh, for... <laughs> Thank you very much for. for... <laughs> Thank you very much for your generosity. Thank you very much for donating. Um, <laughs> uh, Protospasm donates two dollars and two cents, and says, "I think I'm only at thirteen thirteen now, uh, but I wanted to add to the giggle pile." <laughs> Excuse me. Well, th <laughs> thank you very much for. Your <laughs> Thank you very much for your generosity and for your support. I really appreciate it. So, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for this present. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> even bugs are fun when you're like when you like can't stop laughing. <laughs> Because, like, I'm thinking about this bug, and I'm like, I should be annoyed by this. And, like, I, I, intellectually, I am annoyed by this. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, <laughs> I don't feel it. I don't feel annoyed. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I'll, just have, I'll just have to grip the, like, the intellectual, uh, the extent to which intellectually, like, this is very concerning and very, very, very serious matter. <laughs> we need to do some serious... Serious dev work, serious bug fixing here in order to, <laughs> excuse me, in order to get this in shape. Um, let's see, <laughs> this is me being serious. This is, oh, hmm. So, <laughs> so there's like, there's some reason that Asado just is not getting something. I don't, I don't know what, maybe, um. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should restart the script. Uh, I'll do it after the next event, I guess. Um, because, yeah, in the, so I'll, after the next event, I will restart the script, and in the meantime, I'll just add in, like, a bunch of, uh, I'll add in a bunch of data, like, a gratuitous amounts of data. Like, I can even put in stupid data, too, like, uh, I can put in data that's, like, that, like, specifically calls out, like, Asada, <laughs> for example. <laughs> like, I can have it, like, whenever data comes in from a from the outside, I can just have it check, like, if it's Asado's data, and if so, like, I don't know, do something, uh, I don't know, like, I'm, not, I don't, sorry, and I, know I'm fairly, I'm, like, 99.9% .9 that I literally don't have, uh, yeah, no, there's nothing that literally references Asado by name, so, 
Um, excuse me. Um, yeah, what the what the heck? What the heck? Where's where's the sound of his voice going? Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> For some reason, I didn't get your joke creative until I read it a second time, and now I get it, and... <laughs> Actually, yeah. Well, I will just mention quickly, um, the reason, uh, the reason I, the, the donation cap is not at $1, but at $2, is because, um, I don't know if this is, I don't know how well known this is, I didn't know it until I actually, like, looked into it, um, for every individual donation, PayPal takes 30 cents, and then takes, and uh, PayPal or the credit card company, they take 30 cents, and then they take a percentage, so if you, if someone donates a dollar, first they take 30 cents, so it's actually only 70 cents, and then they take a percentage of that, so like if you donate a dollar to someone, you're actually probably, on, they're actually, actually, you're probably actually donating to PayPal, and then like, the person you tried to donate to gets a few pennies as well, I mean that's a slight exaggeration, but um, <laughs> That's, um, if anyone's ever wondered, like, why is the, why is there a donation minimum sometimes? Like, why can't I, why can't I donate, like, because if, yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I'm really distracted right now. <laughs> um, let's say, uh, let's, yeah, let's, so let's, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, like, what, what on earth are the reasons that Asado's data wouldn't get... Maybe... Well, okay, so I added in this other print, and so now we can get a little more information about whether Asado's voice data is getting updated correctly. Because that'll give us... Yeah, I guess, like, I thought I had that data getting collected before, but I put it in the... I, I only put it in, like, halfway, and so coincidentally we didn't get that data before. Uh, and then... Uh, so now... Um, yeah, now I'm just going to overboard, go overboard with it. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to, right, so we get that, we get that half of the data, and, actually, no, I guess now, now that we have that sec other half of the data, then it should be the complete story. Um, but then, uh, alright, so let's see, so, so, yeah, so here's where we're referencing voice, uh, for what ends. Oh, this is when we're, yeah, this is when we're processing the data. So for P key in player dictionary dot keys, if V key in player Wait, what is V key? Oh for V key, yeah. Not if V key. For key for V key. Alright, yeah. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Um so that seems legit. Um so yeah, I feel like it I feel like it's less likely to be this part, like the processing part. I feel like it's more likely to be the, uh, well, no, neither of them makes sense. Neither of them makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, um, yeah, no, I realized it when I was saying it. I, the thing I was saying about, like, PayPal taking a cut, I wasn't saying that to complain. I, I, so I, I'm, I really don't mean to, oh, man, I, like, have, like, I, like, have panic dreams that I'm going to sound, like, uh, insincere, or like, uh, or like, uh, oh, yeah, oh, sorry, I just, uh, or like, uh, unappreciative, I, I really, I swear to you, if I'm, if I'm talking about, uh, if I'm talking about stuff, it's, I swear it's for, uh, it's, it's, like, just because I, I discovered something, and I found it interesting, and I didn't know if other people knew it, and so I felt like sharing that information. That's, like, 99% of, like, what I say, is, like, hey, here's an interesting thing that I didn't know at one time, and I'm happy that I know now, and so maybe you guys will be interested to hear it as well, um, sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get 15 cents out of a 50 cent donation. That's like, <laughs> it's like the the the, the payment companies like get, they get, they it works out for them, but uh, doesn't work out quite as well for everyone else. Um, so. Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you, creator. <laughs> thank you very much. Hey, Fred! Welcome! How's it going? <laughs> um, uh, one thing that's kind of neat that itch.io did recently that, um, 
they uh i i'm just like calling it out because it's very relevant to like what we're talking about but um uh they changed it so that now they work you know how like uh you know how like uh you know various like payment models have been like uh big in uh in game development lately with like you know like free to play and like freemium and stuff like that um uh itch.io recently uh switched over to a freemium um model for their site not for the games on their site but for their site itself so if you host your game on itch.io you can now choose what cut of the profits from that game sale go to itch.io which is kind of cool i don't know how important it is but it just seems i just i applaud them for trying it because i had never heard of that before and so uh i mean i really like uh payment models that that work in like similar ways so i uh i like that was literally the first time i thought to myself like i want to be on itch.io like I never had any particular reason to not want to be on itch.io. Like, they always seem like a fine site. But that was, like, the first time, like, I literally want to aim for, like, itch.io. Like, that is now part of my, my, my plan, is that someday I will have games on itch.io. And actually, I, I don't know. Apart from the fact that my games aren't very polished, I could put some of them up there right now, <laughs> basically. All right, did we, uh, we finish that event? Uh, cool. Um, so I'm going to restart the script. Did anyone level up? Uh, I guess maybe if, it, if anyone leveled up, maybe it got processed already. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to restart the script now. Oh yeah, I was going to put in, uh, I was going to put in even more, uh, even more checking. Yeah, like, what, so if the, if, if the checks I have in now come back inconclusive, like, what am I going to wish was there? I guess, uh, I guess, like, uh, so for key in act source, if key in cur of actions player name name is correct right i assume where did we get name from yeah name equals real name name or ridge yeah so name's legit we're not like doing anything untoward are we name equals equals gm name yeah i mean like there's no other uh strange things that we're doing like to name between then and there is there GM name equals name. Name, 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 name. Uh, so yeah, name. We said it there, we said it there. We said GM name there, we said GM display name there. We said GM name. GM name, GM name. Name equals equals. Name equals equals. I name. Whoa, where'd that come out? <laughs> um, yeah, no, name should be fun. We're not doing anything weird to it. Uh, it's literally like the game just does not like Asado. And that's so weird to me. So <laughs> weird. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I guess... Um, yeah, no, I guess they, I, I, like, never had a good reason not to be excited about itch.io. Like, uh, I, yeah, I guess, like, maybe it's just because, like, the idea, or, like, I'd, I'd only recently heard about it. Not, not really. Like, I'd only, like, when I started working on games independently, like, it, I, I, like, I heard it, I heard it, like, tossed around or something, but, like, I don't know, it never seemed, like, aspirational or anything. Um, but, like, the more I think about it, like, there's really no there's no reason not to use it like um i mean it doesn't have like the uh it doesn't have like the the glossy front of like the like the app store or anything like that um but like unless you're going to get like featured by like first party or like a you know by a publishing platform then there's basically no difference between having your uh title on that platform versus like any other so uh i don't know and heck, for all I know, maybe, like, itch.io does, like, feature titles in, like, a really great way. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, itch.io, uh, itch.io, uh, is that the correct link? Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, for those of you who are unfamiliar, uh, 
it's it's like I mean it's like Steam except except easier I guess <laughs> it's like uh, so it's, yeah so like I compare it to because uh, I was like when I was when I was uh, thinking about games that I would actually like release through a platform like uh, I was thinking of like mobile games so like I think of, I tend to think of it as like an alternative to like uh, to like the uh, the app store or something like that but like it's kind of like an alternative to Steam it's like it's kind of like like indie Steam I guess um, and uh, yeah, it's just super cool, and uh, so they made it recently that um, you get, you get to choose uh, like you you can you can basically like ch yeah choose like uh, how well yeah like I was saying earlier like what cut of uh, the the proceeds like you can set I think you can set you can just like set the prices for your games right you can like choose how to monetize them on itch.io. again I haven't actually used it myself but uh, from when you decide like what the price is of your game you can choose like what percentage of that. Um, goes back to itch versus like what percentage you keep uh so yeah all right uh let's let's just have this work let's instead of having this not work let's just have it like work let's just <laughs> let's just i don't know i don't know but i guess we'll all right whatever I, so i'm not going to solve it right now but we'll get more data and we'll 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 continue on the path uh uh so, uh, uh, so, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll say, whoa, huh, it seemed like the game was freezing when I dragged the secret panel, but I guess not, uh, weird, okay, uh, so, uh, it's I took zero cut before, oh, interesting, uh, all right. Well, maybe give them some money because they seem cool. <laughs> they deserve a cut. <laughs> I don't know. Um. All right. Uh. Uh. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I am trying to use the uh, the uh, the uh, the automated system a bit more. Oh, I guess I should. I could um. Well, no, not yet. Um, uh, let's, uh, all right, so the, uh, so the, the, <laughs> the goblins, uh, 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 are, uh, not impressed. Uh, they, uh, they chase, or, uh, oh, yeah, wait, no, what was I gonna do? I was gonna say, so the goblins are not impressed. Uh, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what, uh, Oh, I think I had a, I think I had an idea for like what this event would be, and then, nah, I don't care. The goblins are not impressed. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, they uh, uh, chase you. Uh, 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 north uh, for a. Uh, Oh, I thought I had an idea for this event, and then <laughs> it just kind of like flew out of my mind. So what is it? Um, uh, they chase you. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 north uh, through uh, the uh, woods uh, for uh, miles, I guess. Um, <laughs> and uh uh actually no the, yeah no whatever I, <laughs> I shouldn't get so picky about this these things because i do have to i have to be better at this uh hey asado if you're still here would you mind using a an action tag like in uh just in general chat so i can get some i don't know i'm still trying to figure out why why yours aren't registering in the system um uh <laughs> oh yeah, it shuffles up, but uh <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you just like to go your own way, right? It's protospasm, just uh <laughs> It's like it's it's kind of random cuz it's just based on like when players are registered by the uh, by the script, but yeah. Um <laughs> Uh so yeah, what happened before the the yeah, the goblins they didn't they didn't back off. Uh chased you through the woods. For miles, uh, and 
Uh, so yeah, so you don't uh, you don't uh, uh, recognize uh, uh, I I know I keep I always say like putting a literal fork in the road is not an interesting or compelling event. So no, I can't do that. I I always do that. I always I'm always inclined to do that, and it never. Whoa, wait, was that a Sada? 